Hey, y'all. Out here at the uh, Grand Rod Run 2012 in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And uh, I shot one of these uh, Trans Ams before, but it was a T-top, and I didn't get an interview on it. So I'm lucky enough I've got the other one, the convertible, and the gentleman that's here is willing to tell me about it. So it should be pretty interesting. <coughs> Got an 88 GT come out of North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah. Bought brand new as number. Wayne, how are you, brother? Doing fine, Scott. I, I hate to interrupt you, but we set this up and uh, I was wasting tape, so I just had to bust in there. Go right ahead. Good. Tell me a little bit about your hot rod. This is a uh, 2002 uh, Trans Am uh, six-speed Ram Air convertible. It's a special edition car, collector's edition. Uh, this is what they used to close out the Pontiac Trans Ams with. This was also the Daytona 500 pace cars. They uh, used this car. In the Wait a second. Now, you're telling me that when they stopped making Trans Ams, these were the last ones they these made? These were the last, last ones that was What, made. they make 2,000 of them? 2,000 of them, yes. Wow. See, that's something I didn't even know about. I knew they were collector's editions, but I wasn't sure why and they did it. Only some, I think it's 500 of them was in, in convertibles. Yeah, I was wondering that yeah. too. And less than that in the six-speed. Right. How many do you think they made of six-speed convertibles? Uh, I, myself, I'm figuring about 250 of them. I got you. That's just a guess though. Right, just a guess. Now, it's got the W6 package, but does it have anything else special to it? Uh, no, not, not. It's got the 5.7 engine in it. Right. Uh, uh, it's got 325 horses. Uh, this one's got traction control on it. It is a six-speed car. Uh, What's that yellow called? No cell yellow. Uh, no cell yellow. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know. <laughs> I do. and, and folks, just so you don't think I'm being mean to Wayne, Wayne and I had a conversation before this video started, and you ordered this car in. But what was your reaction when it came in? When it came in, I told them they could take it and sell it, get rid of it. Because <laughs> the didn't. picture did not match the it, real car. It did not match the color that the car was showing when I ordered it. Right. Right. But in the end, it's a cool car. But you're right. glad you hung on to it. That's exactly right. How many miles is on it? This one has 67,000 miles on it. So you get out and drive it a little bit. Yes, we, we do drive it, yeah. You got any other hot rods? Yes, I got another one just like it. It's really? A, it's a Sunset Orange. Uh, it is a 2002 six-speed uh, Ram Air convertible. It doesn't have but 18,000 miles on it. But now that wouldn't be the collector's edition. They were only in yellow, right? Right, but it will be a collector's car because it was the last year sure. that it was made. Right, right, uh, right. And it is the six-speed. It is a Ram Air, and it is a convertible. It has original tires on it. So it's got, so the, the major difference is, is it's cool color. Right. It doesn't have the sewed headrest, which I kind of like, but right. it doesn't have that. And it doesn't have the kind of hokey decals on it. Right. All right. right. So it's just a much cooler version of that, this car. That's exactly right. <laughs> cool. Well, Wayne, I'm going to take a look around if you don't mind. You go right can ahead. Can we open the hood and look yes, under there? Yes, we can. All right, great. Well, there you go. Even when General Motors makes a blunder, they still can get us to buy them if they make them fast enough, right? <clears throat> wow. I guess you got your notes over here to make sure uh, you put 10W30 in it? Yes, sir. Wow. It's pretty clean under there, though, for almost 70,000 miles. You take good care of it. Yes, sir. I try to. I try to wash the underside just as well as I do the top side. Right. What do you do to keep that motor clean? Uh, I just wash it. Whenever I get through washing my car, I just take that same soap and water and wash the car. With and, a hose and everything? Yep, with a hose and everything. And that doesn't cause you any kind of shorts? Oh, never had a problem out of it. You just use low pressure, though? Yeah. Man, I'm gonna go do that to my Mustang, brother. Because I can't keep, I keep, it's a black, I keep the outside clean, but I can't keep that motor clean. Right. I drive it every day. Mm -hmm. But I've always been afraid to take and wash it like the car. Right. I'm gonna get your number because if it breaks, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne said it, Wayne said it wouldn't hurt it, okay? I know I met the man in the parking lot, but I trusted him. Look at him. He looks like the kind of guy you can trust. Man, that's a nice car, brother. And it's got special wheels in that they're black, but I don't know if the pattern is, you know, the style of it is unique, but uh, I read that too, they had the black wheels on it. Some badging. And let's be honest, at this time frame during this era, General Motors was uh, very big on badging stuff. Yes, just didn't call it special, mm -hmm. you know. But it is cool that these were the last 10,000 to come down the line of the Trans Am. Yeah, that is really cool. And then it's a convertible on top of that. Have you done anything to it, any kind of work on it? The only thing I've done is change the pipes on it. 
it originally had the little round pipes. Okay. So I changed them so it would fit the Open inventions it. in yeah. there and look better. Right. And what kind of exhaust is that now you're running? This is a, a Magnaflow. Okay. Can you start it? Can we hear it? Yes, sir. Might as well, right? Right. While we're here. Well, we got the camera rolling. We might as well go ahead and listen to it. Sounds nice. It didn't change the sound much. That sounds good. That sounds good, Wayne. Well, brother, I sure appreciate you taking the time to let me look at your car. Yes, sir. Not, no problem at all. Good, good. Anything for the Trans Am enthusiast. For hot riders, right? We're just a big community and we all work together. Yeah. No, that's what the cool thing about loving cars is. Is it don't matter if you go into a parking lot and there's a bunch of hot rods, you know you got friends there. That's right. You know? Well, folks, there you go. 2002 Special Edition Trans Am from the Grand Ride Run 2012. Hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good day.